tough. Kyrie did have that finger problem tonight, but shot 12 of 28 in the game, had 27 points, scored 12 in the third quarter, helped the Nets get back into the game. They trailed by as many as 20 moments ago. He met with the media. Yeah, Kyrie, what was most glaring about, you know, the start of this game that contributed to a, a 20 point hole? Oh, uh, excuse me. <laughs> Just coming out aggressive and making them feel us. You know, a lot of teams come out very comfortable against us, and then that's kind of you know, the feel of the rest of the game is that we're playing catch up, and you know, it's just not our way to play as a competitor. You're just always down, and though we have the talent to come back, and you know, it's just not our way to play. You know, we want to dominate on both ends of the floor, especially on the defensive end, to make them uncomfortable. That way, we put ourselves in a better position. So, you know, just starting off the game better. I don't think we've talked to you since the, the finger injury. What is it like managing out there? How much, you know, pain and discomfort are you, are you having to push through? Oh, man, it sucks, man. It's just, you know, shooting very well in the season. We want to continue so. And, you know, you just have different hiccups that happen, you know, especially on my shooting hand. Uh, you know, it's uncomfortable, but at the same time, I don't want to make any excuses. I'm out there put myself out there, do a lot of treatment on it. And, you know, we're down a few players, obviously, as well. So you just want to go out there and compete uh, and worry about the pain later. But, you know, doing the best I can. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, Kerry. Um, are you noting, um, I don't know, a common thread? I mean, a lot of the games that you guys kind of come out and spot a big lead or maybe don't have the quite a defensive intensity that you're looking for. A lot of them are against the quote lesser teams, maybe losing team team without a great record. Are you noting that commonality and how concerning is that mindset was? Well, I think you guys noted enough for all of us. So I don't think I need to know it is pretty it's pretty glaring when, you know, game to game and especially when the records are you know, being used as kind of a reason on why we're not going out there and playing hard. You know, I, I don't I don't accept that. And I don't think our team accepts it uh, as a whole. You know, obviously, we don't want that to be on, um, you know, kind of what teams think about us. And we're seeing it day in and day out where guys, teams are coming in and punching us in the mouth early and we're playing catch up. And it happens to be against the the guys with the least best records. And, we got to call it for what it is, so we got to fix that, you know. And that, and that takes a maturity, uh, that takes accountability, and, and that takes, um, you know, realization of what we need to do moving forward. So every day, every day, guys. Malika Andrews with ESPN. Hey, Kyrie. Um, Steve said that his message was that this comes down to pride, and who do you guys want to be as a team? So, I guess. Is this who you want to be as a team? And if not, then then what is it that you're you're working towards? Well, Malika, I think you can answer the first question yourself. Um, I, I I don't think that we go out every single day uh, of our lives and sacrifice the time in order to be average at anything. You know, I know you don't wake up. I know no one here on this call wakes up to be average at anything that they do. Uh, and we look very average, you know. And we have the talent that the eye test presents that we should be dominating. Uh, you know, we have the experience in, in terms of some of our guys that have been through certain things, circumstances to be able to battle through. And we're dealing with a lot of the reality that we're putting this together on the fly. Like, we we are the team that the NBA put the most games on. We're, we're the team that gets someone taken out during COVID, during the games. We're the team that has to deal with the refs. We're, we're the team that is literally battling against so many odds that at this point, it's, it's not even a reason to continue to comment on them. They are what they are. And as a warrior that I am and that the energy that I have alongside my teammates, we just have to turn that corner. And we haven't done it yet, but we will. And I'm telling you, the league's going to be on notice when that happens. So just got to take it day by day. <laughs> 